How's it going, guys? It's Cass. As always, if you've been enjoying my content, then hit that subscribe button. So it's been a little bit over a month since Demon Hunter received their 5% buff. So I thought I'd give it some time just to see what it would actually do to Demon Hunter and see where Demon Hunter is after the fact and just generally talk about my feelings about the buff that they received. So when Demon Hunter was first announced that it was getting buffed, obviously I felt pretty positive about it. I'm glad they were actually paying enough attention to do something about the state of Demon Hunter. However, once I actually read the changes, I realized that even though they knew Demon Hunter was underperforming, that they didn't really have any idea of what specifically was causing the Demon Hunter to be underperforming. Demon Hunter for the longest time has been a class that is AoE first and single target second. And whenever you give a flat damage buff to a class like that, what you're doing is you're going to be increasing their AoE threshold by a lot while increasing their single target threshold by much, much less. And that's the main issue with Demon Hunter. When we look at the representation in Mythic Plus, Demon Hunter's representation is actually pretty fine with 5% uh, of the D of the total representation of DPS being Demon Hunters. While 5% is lower than a lot of the other classes, the main thing to point out here is the representation of tanks in these situations are much, much higher. And this is in uh, plus 10s or higher because of uh, Demon Hunter's ability to kite as a tank. Demon Hunter is just the best tank by far, and that's why we've seen there's a lot of Vengeance Demon Hunters in the top when it comes to Mythic Plus. I don't think that necessarily means that Demon Hunter is in a bad spot in Mythic Plus as a whole um, when it comes to damage. It just means that Demon Hunter is just very good when it comes to tanking. I think if Tank Demon Hunter got nerfed, we would see this number for Havoc Demon Hunters in these environments increase by a lot, with Demon Hunters being probably close to like 10% in a lot of these situations. And a lot of that just has to do with the class design as a whole, where the majority of Demon Hunter's kit is going to be AoE. We think about First Blood with Blade Dance, obviously, an AoE ability. It is capped now, but it's still obviously an AoE ability. If I beam, you have Immolation Aura, and obviously we have the only real single target spender Demon Hunter has, which is Chaos Strike. And so when we think about that, we really have about 80% of the class being AoE abilities and then 20% of the class being single target. So when you have a 5% overall increase, what you're doing is you're pushing that threshold for AoE much higher while barely pushing up the single target threshold. We're in this weird spot where we have pretty good AoE and we're pretty competitive in AoE, but in single target, we are very, very lackluster. And it puts us at a point where it's very hard to balance without doing specific changes that only affect one or the other. And I think that's really what Blizzard has to do. You can't really just give us flat buffs and just hope for the best because it's either going to lead to a situation where Demon Hunter is just bonkers in AoE and very good in single target, which is honestly just a recipe for disaster, having a class be dominant in AoE and also very, very good in single target. I think obviously the best case scenario is a class that's very good in AoE and also very good in single target. And I think that's what almost every class should strive for with classes that have multiple specs having the variation between specs with one spec being better for AoE and one spec being better for single target. And that's really an issue that only Demon Hunters, Monks, and Rep Paladins have is you basically have to get to a point where the DPS portion of the class has to have the ability to be competitive in both of those situations. So how do we go about fixing it and what kind of changes can Blizzard make to make Demon Hunter better? This is something that obviously is going to take time to balance as a whole, but there's a few simple things they can do at the very beginning. A very simple way to fix these issues is to just buff Chaos Strike damage and get Demon Hunter at that point where they are doing a lot more damage in single target and still not really affecting their AoE ability that much at all. I think that would be a very easy solution that would make most Demon Hunter players happy. And then you have some of the more drastic changes that realistically probably won't happen until a new expansion comes out. One of those ideas is to make Immolation Aura do more damage whenever it's hitting one or two targets. So basically just increasing the amount of damage Immolation Aura does on those specific targets in single target or cleave environments, leading to just an overall throughput in single target damage that's higher. That'll basically make it so there's a little bit more inherent value behind pressing Immolation Aura and then also just general increases in single target damage. Then you can just do basically the same thing with I-Beam as well, where 
the target gets a buff and it deals increased damage to the target whenever it's the only person getting hit by I-beam, uh, basically shifting up that number a little bit higher than where it is currently. I think that would be a good way to change that as well and something that's actually not very intrusive at all. But that's really the main goal behind these is we want a situation where Demon Hunter is successful in single target and still able to be successful in AoE and we aren't pushing one or the other much higher than it has to be for the class to be successful. My goal is to get Demon Hunter in a place that is just successful, that feels good to play. These are just a few examples of some of the ideas that I think are just better changes overall than just buffing the class as a whole. I'd love to hear some of your guys' ideas to what would make Demon Hunter feel better, uh, especially in single target, and some of the potential changes to the class that you'd like to see down in the comments below. As always, if you like the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, F5, refresh, try it again, maybe like it the second time. Have a good one.